Hello everyone, this is Tomek. And this is Mateusz. And we don't have the uh, animals, but, uh, but still, <laughs> we will be talking about the same thing that the guys before. The background is yellow. Yes, the background is yellow. <laughs> we are from Codulity. Yeah, which is a company which helps uh, any business of any size uh, with automating and accelerating tech hiring. Before we start, let's imagine a, a hypothetical scene that could happen in any company. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Product Owner. Oh, hello, Mr. CEO. You know what? We need to be uh, even more productive, more, more, more profi profitable, more oh, profitable. More profi profitable. How can we get that? What I've been think? thinking we could get more enterprise customers. Oh, enterprise customers. Cool. This is a good idea. But how can we make them, you know, more of them? Mm, very good question. Very mm. good question. Maybe they have some problems. Yeah, mm. yeah, I think they might have crowded dashboards. <gasps> crowded dashboards. Oh, this is, yes, they have crowded dashboards. Yeah, okay. that's right. Yeah. Okay, so let me talk with a designer, okay? Maybe we'll fix it. Okay, see you later. See ya. Oh, hello, Mr. Designer. Hello, Mr. Product Owner. Oh, you know, some enterprise customers in our, com uh, the, our clients, they have crowded dashboards. Oh, yes, I've seen a crowded dashboard. It's mm. really terrible. Yeah, you know, maybe maybe is there a way of fixing this issue? Mm, what yeah, do you think? We, we, we can do some filtering for them. Oh, filtering. <gasps> this is a very good idea, yeah, filtering, tops. Okay, so... I will design it. Uh, let me talk with the developer to check feasibility before. Oh, that's great. This yeah. is the solution. Yeah. See ya, bye-bye. See you. Hello, Mr. Developer. Hello. You know the dashboards? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We will be doing the filtering there. <gasps> filtering? Oh. Yeah, we will need some buttons and one Dropbox. Buttons and Dropboxes? Wow, super. Yeah. It will be like five story points. Oh, okay, wonderful. Okay, not, see not, not, not bad. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, bye-bye. See you later. Eventually, uh, the planning happens. Everybody is finally in the same room. But sadly, all the decisions are already made. Yeah, which... Uh, basically sums up into the whole team being detached from the people detached from one of each other, from each other and basically people are working on the smallest possible things only in their part of expertise and no one is seeing the whole big picture in order for this to be uh, effective the team works in parallel so in time the developers uh, care only about the, the implementation part they don't care for whom they are doing uh, stuff, uh, why they are doing stuff, etc. Et, et yeah, uh, even worse, uh, they, uh, they are accounted for story points, velocity, uh, some estimates and other things. So basically they are, uh, they are hiding uh, behind the uh, definition of ready line, which helps them basically uh, talk to product or other, other company members that, hey, we are do, do, doing good stuff in a good pace, uh, we are you know, developing things properly. We call this situation a uh, game of story points. Yes, and we would like to change this game of story points into a game of customer value. So instead of focusing on uh, the, the team, uh, fo focusing on the story points, we would like to people just focus on bringing as much and as fast as possible uh, c uh, customer value. If we want to focus on delivering customer value, we uh, don't want to focus on uh, making sure that everybody is being busy. And this in turn uh, makes us uh, make, uh, makes the slack time appear from time to time, which might result in some people not working in their field of expertise. So we can Im imagine a backend developer who is working with a uh, designer, helping him or her with uh, reviewing the designs, maybe um, maybe researching some uh, customer needs and so on. But being part of the, the product development process in different places makes uh, everybody involved in making decisions and uh, yeah yeah and everything here uh, summed up makes everyone in the team uh, be feeling in the being in the same boat so basically uh, people are not detached we are trying not to detach people one from each other but instead of that we are trying to put everyone in the team 
uh, together and just to sit, sit together and work together uh, and going to the same shared uh, target. Okay, so we want to change this picture into something like this, so that the whole team uh, works knowing customer need and they work together on c creating uh, ideas and then uh, implementing them. Yes, and this is the short prescription of uh, how we did that. So first thing first, the PO brings a problem instead of a, instead of a solution ready, pre-digest solution. Ideally with a KPI, which fo uh, which helps the team to focus on the, on the solution and the, on the target. And also a time budget, which is like, uh, you know, it helps us uh, to make the thing happen in our time. We want to make sure that the team f uh, focuses only on this uh, this one particular problem at, at the same time, and we and that everybody takes part in making decisions. And we also introduce a very aggressive slicing, ideally using the story map technique. Yeah. So f we first we, we we use this approach uh, this approach in Spring. We actually uh, at Codality we actually wanted to to have more enterprise customers. Mm -hmm. And we also decided that we want to spend one month on this issue. Our product owners got together uh, and uh, they discussed a bit. And uh, the, the, our team got handed uh, a problem of uh, enterprise customers having a lot of Codality tests and they were not being able to find the interesting ones quickly enough. And then as a team, we sat together and we decided that hey, we need a KPI. Maybe it will help us, you know, to make the you know the target visible. So we decided to measure time between you know the people entering the site and uh, between entering the site and performing any meaningful action on the test. So basically, that was our measurement, and we tried to make this you know the the, the number fall down. It turned out that the measurement wasn't like the greatest one. The, the KPI wasn't the great, greatest one, but it helped us a lot in during this implementation part because we were focused only in this thing. And we also discovered by talking to the customers and the, and the sales people that uh, hey, you know, big companies, big enterprises, they like to think in hierarchies, yeah, and tree structures. So it was pretty natural that we ended up in a folder solution instead of tags, categories, and so on. Yeah, so basically uh, customers could put tests in folders and look for them uh, more efficiently. Having this, uh, the, this decision, we proceeded with uh, the story mapping. And during the story mapping, we focus on the slimmest, slimmest and most, most valuable slices. Uh, and we try to elevate the slices up top, up top. So basically, we were working only on one slice at the top, uh, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the time, which were bringing us uh, most valuable at the time. Uh, throughout the whole month, we put every single idea we have in, in the story map, with every idea I asking, is this idea really necessary in this version? Can't we release this slice without this? And this is our uh, short list of, of the slices we did deliver this month. Uh, that month. Uh, so first one was Alpha 1. So you can guess it. It was like the b behind the feature flag and no customer saw that. It was you know, meant only for our sales people and basically we were uh, asking them, hey sales guys, would you like to sell this thing to the real customer? And we're getting the feedback from, from them first. Alpha 2 was a version, uh, was usable enough to, to survive a prepared uh, demo scenario that our sales used to uh, when they were selling Codility to new customers. The third one was beta, uh, which was the fr meant for friendly customers who are willing to test our half-back software. Uh, so they are w aware that way. There might be some hiccups, but still they are happy to test some new features. MVP1 was actually the first version we were uh, comfortable enough to, to publishing for everybody. And MVP2 was very similar thing like MVP1, but with a little bit better UI and UX. So. Because, and we split that because we wanted to deliver the um, functionality first and then polish the, as much as possible, polish the afterwards. And finally, uh, our favorite slice, we call it later. This is by far the, the fattest slice in our story map. We put almost everything in this slice. Uh, okay, so af after a month, uh, we, we, we delivered MVP1 and a couple of features on, uh, from MVP2. Which was uh, pretty, pretty pretty good considering that in Codality uh, the average cycle time was between two to three months previously. 
Uh, it's important to, to know that uh, we, we delivered the MVP1. Then, the, for two, or two and a half months, observed how customers interact with, with our folders. And then later, the spend, we, sp we spent another week on improving the, 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 the experience. And the outcome is that the folders were there. They are still here. They brought us value. And they also made uh, more customers happy. So yay for us. We got very positive feedback from inside uh, the, the, the company. Main, mainly due to the fact the, that we actually released every single slice on, from our store map, so it was very, very frequent, uh, very frequent, and because we we managed to to deliver something of of actual value uh, within the time box. And everything here on this slide bound, bound together made the whole team very engaged and feeling that, hey, we are doing something meaningful, we are doing something uh, together, and I, I, as a developer, have like some influence in this, so this is great, yay, company likes that. So, yeah. Since, uh, since, since then, we did this, uh, the, 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 this kind of project uh, four times. Actually, the fourth one is ending this Friday. Uh, we like the, 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 the direction. With every iteration, we find something uh, not working as we hope, so we improve with, ev with ev every, uh, uh, every iteration. We observed that the role of PO changes a little bit, so instead of bringing pro uh, pre-digest uh, solution or even the, the proper solutions, uh, we, we see now more research-based things, so basically PO research um, the customer needs and brings a problem to the team. Uh, we, we still got a lot of discussions about the artificial timelines, the time boxes that, that, that we have. Uh, still, we believe that it's good to have a time box in order to actually deliver something. Uh, especially that uh, we don't want to sacrifice quality. So the discussions about deadlines come pretty, pretty often. Oh, we, we do have an animal. <laughs> That's right. Okay, and the biggest con of this solution for now uh, is that we don't really know how to balance the pre-design and pre-research before the um, backend. Uh, sorry, before the development part. And you can compare it to like you know the problem of building the whole b huge cathedral, which is beautiful and pre-designed. Everything is you know in place. Uh, versus, you know, random houses put together just to bring a shelter value to the people. So basically, we are more like on the right side right now, but we still want to make, you know, the designer and research team to be confident enough to know that, hey, we have a, some kind of vision of everything and we can go in a good direction, but with a very small increment steps that are, you know, based on the uh, development team. Yeah, so currently, we believe that the, the designer should have the vision of the cathedral, cathedral in mind and should be the guardian of, of this vision while we build the favela. Okay, so uh, we are changing the game of story points into the game of delivering customer value. And we also notice that we don't, s we don't hear question, oh, why so long? And instead of that, we hear the question, oh, what can we deliver next? So basically, we notice that the people are focusing on delivering the, the value instead of you know making the story points okay. Okay. So to, to sum up, once again, this is how we do it at Codlit at this point. Uh, this way probably will ev evolve, but but this is how we do it now. So PO brings a problem instead of the s solution. That's the main point. Uh, ideally, with a KPI, just to focus the uh, discussion and the uh, target of the team. And ideally, we also with a time budget. So we know that after some time, there will be something for the customers. The value will be there. There will be no unfinished tales. This is the time the product owner is willing to spend on solving this, this problem. Then we want to make the, the whole team focus on this one on this one problem at the, the same time and we need to make sure that everybody is participating in making decisions and we also using the very aggressive slicing uh, ideally using the story mapping technique just to make sure that we are doing the correct thing at the time and we are doing only one thing at the time and one feature one value part at the time instead of doing the whole system uh, yes, so if you want to learn more about the Codility, there is a link for you. Uh, we are also hiring senior developers and sales. And we wish you very good luck in delivering customer value using all needed skills. Thank you.